G'day and welcome back to Dark Soil Gaming and Lakeland Vale Farm. This farm is available on simplysafemods.com and on Stevie's Facebook page. Links for both are down below in the comments. Make sure you go check it out and head on over to Stevie's Facebook page and leave him a comment or two and let him know how you like the map. It's another great map. There is more to come from Lakeland as well. Uh, Stevie's working on more projects that are tied around the Lakeland area. Uh, we will talk about that a bit more as Stevie releases more news about it, uh, but we're looking forward to that. Uh, it's not going to be another big map or a new extension to this or anything else like that. It's just other little maps in the same sort of area, so with different farms in that area. So that's, uh, that sounds like a good idea. All right, anyway, let's get into it. We are commencing our harvest here on field three, uh, harvesting some soybeans, and we have still got our other employee down on field 11 the field on the other side of the farm the big field um, and he is steadily going along with that as we prepare to uh, head on over and look at our new field and seed that as well so I'm just going to do a couple of rows here uh, manually and then I'm going to get a hired handy here to do it um, just for the fact that at least I've done something manual for the day because of course with the cedar, I'm going to put the cedar on a course play route I think because uh, that's just what we'll do and then what we'll do is uh, we'll grab a tractor and a trailer and get ready to offload from this guy when he's ready because as soon as he's finished in this field he's going to be going on to field 4 to harvest field 4 and then going over there to harvest field 5 as well so they're all ready to harvest now the other thing is too our grass is ready to mow all through here so we do have to get in and do the grass as well so that's another job to get done as well. And we will hopefully get all that done lickety split. All right. Sorry, I was just reading something. All right, so we're gonna continue this guy down here. I'm then going to head back round now to where we started uh, on the other lane way we did or up straight or up path we did or whatever you want to call it and then we're going to go over and get a tractor and trailer ready and also get another tractor over there and get the seating going although I don't know I might use the Volta for the seating I think it's about the, uh, the most powerful tractor I have other than the, uh, the big John Deere that's doing the cultivating at the moment the 9410 uh, so let's go and have a look and see what we've got. All right, um, I'm going to bring this guy over to the field for the combine. We don't need the big trailer. I think we can just do it in the smaller loads of this, so that'll be fine. We'll take him on over there, and all be good. All right, so I hope everyone is doing well. Um, obviously, we're still going through uh, the trials and tribulations of the coronavirus and what it's doing to the world. I'm not going to talk about that too much we did talk about that in the last episode briefly or uh, well not so briefly but uh, yeah I hope everyone is doing well uh, and all your family and loved ones are doing well and uh, we just just all need to stick together we'll get through it it's, uh, it's just another another test of us all as a as humanity as a whole but I'm sure uh, at the end of the day we'll all get through it all right so let's uh, grab this guy and I'm going to see if I can. Where was it? Where did I put the cedar? It's not there. Oh, I think he's down to the shop. Down. Let me have a look. Let me have a look quick. Let me have a quick look. He's down to the shop. He's down to the shop. Right. So we're going to go in the shop and collect our cedar. So we bought it, but just didn't bring it back up. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab that, we're going to bring it up, we're going to have to fill it up, and then we're going to get straight on over and put the crop in the ground. Now I'm thinking at the moment, uh, because purely we want to generate cash uh, to pay off our loan, uh, and also to continue the expansion of the farm, I'm thinking soybeans is going to be the way to go. Uh, I may do a canola, I, I don't know, I may do a canola. Hmm. I think I think this time through I might do soybeans. 
And on this field over here to our left, I think I might do that one as canola this next run through. So uh, soybeans and canola are the next two field planting rotations. So uh, we'll get that going. And here we go. We'll get out and have a bit of a look at our cedar and uh, let's see what we've got to use. All right. So here it is. This is our brand new CD872 frame mounted cedar. Look at that. It does look quite nice. Uh, but again, as I've said previously, um, I don't think personally that the DLC is actually worth it unless you just want to buy some extra cedars. Uh, or, of course, unless you want that John Deere. Um, I mean, look, if, if you've got a, got a tip, a rubbish dump or something like that you need to put a a new piece of rubbish on or, or whatever else or just fill up a big hole well i suppose you could use it for that um but uh but yeah i mean i don't know why else you would spend four hundred thousand on one of them but hey horses for courses so to speak oh we said that word we don't have horses we don't run them certainly don't run them here in fact i haven't removed the stables mate yet from this map i must do that I'd, I'd act, although it doesn't really matter, I can just let it rot away and just fall down and or go over and drive over it with a bulldozer or something. But anyway, as long as if we're going to be putting any of those four-legged things in there, we might, or we could replace it with a glue factory or something. But anyway, all right, moving right along. So yes, I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone is, uh, all your families are safe and healthy and all that sort of stuff. And uh, you're looking after yourselves. Uh, in this uh, time of testing difficulties for humanity overall. We are doing okay. We uh, continue to uh, to press on as best we possibly can, but um, I'm sure we'll be fine in the longer term. All right, so we're gonna come in here. We're gonna fill this guy up with some seed and some fertilizer. I'm assuming that the trigger is quite generous on this. I haven't actually filled it up from a pipe yet. Now, one of the things I am a little disappointed with with the Bajolt um, equipment is... Oh, no, 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 I don't want the radio. No, no, how do I turn the radio off? There we go. Um, one of the things I'm, I'm disappointed with is these cedars come with a crane jib or a lift jib at the back of the cedar and for the bigger ones it comes with the same sort of thing for loading up um, pallets of seed and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, I really wish they made it so that actually worked because that would be fantastic. Uh, but unfortunately, they haven't. So, um, that's really, really unfortunate. Right, I've got the next cover. There we go. And, little sugar, there we go. Start that up. That works alright. No problems at all. Okay. So, now we're going to head over to the field and get started. So, we need to make sure we select our crop or our seed type because. Nine times out of ten, uh, here at Ducks All the Gaming, we just head to the field and start working, and then realise after we start the seeding that we've planted the crop that we weren't going to crop, and yeah, you know, a little bit embarrassing sometimes, but it's okay, we're used to it. All right, so let's have a look and see how this guy functions in here, and let's see if the Volta is going to deal with him okay. Uh, I think. I think what we might do is I might just do the first row by hand and then we will uh, put it on an AI worker I think instead of doing a uh, course play course. Alright, so that's it. So this is an 8 metre width uh, and it's uh, not too bad. I don't, don't mind this one at all. Uh, we're going to lower, turn him on. Uh, actually I do want to... Yeah. Right. We have got soybeans running. There we go. Alright. 
and that's it so off we go and the Volta doesn't seem to be having too much of an issue with pulling this at all which is good so there we have it there is the Bajolt what is it 720 I think it was um, cedar or uh, planter and uh, and yeah so that's what we're going to be using on this map we don't intend on getting the the bigger one uh, I think it's the 7950 is the big one uh, or anything like that I think that's probably going to be a little bit overkill for this map uh, but in saying that there are a couple of larger fields so we may well reconsider that and perhaps get the medium sized one um, but uh, but yeah but we have got the Bajolt available to us to use on the map and uh, that's what we'll, we'll, we'll be using so uh, yeah hope you enjoy seeing it alright well, there you go not too bad at all alright so he's uh, going on now the while we're doing that our combine is about to be full he's at 94 percent as we speak we've already got the message saying he's getting full so um we're gonna have to head on over there shortly i think he'll get close to finishing i think he'll end up leaving two rows or three rows i think it is uh generally before he actually gets a full tank and then uh and then we'll have to empty him out but um the other two fields we're doing I think are wheat so we can't just move from one field to the other and just continue on so we do have to empty it out before we can move across and he's now full so uh, that's good timing because we're just going to come here to the end of this field and we're going to turn around and we're going to put it on a uh, hired hand and let them continue on the work through here for us alright but I think other than that I think that works quite good and I think it I, I really do, I said it before, I do like the look of this one. Um, it's probably the only piece of kit out of the DLC that I did really like the look of and, and sort of appealed to me. But I wasn't going to buy it just for one piece of equipment, obviously. Um, but yeah, so uh, anyway, so let me know what you think. Did you buy the Bojolt DLC? If you did, what do you think of it? And of course, if you didn't, why didn't you? Um, Obviously, I'm not going to hold it against you if you didn't. Oh, oh, here we go. Look, yet again, see, this is why we don't like John Deere. We've been stymied, or it's been stymied, by some straw. Okay? It doesn't want to go over the straw. Right. Now, like I said previously, see, look, he's just, he's got no, no guts. No guts. Oh. Come on. Come on, you can do it. It's thinking. Oh, I did it thought long and hard about that, didn't it? Oh, it's still thinking. Thinking. Come on. There you go. Oh, fancy having the baby uh great big tractor like this but anyway it is John Deere <sighs> right. advance notice people I'm trading this thing in <laughs> I gotta get rid of it and get uh, Zerion 5000 that's what's going to replace it either that or a uh, New Holland a nice big New Holland maybe a T8 T9 even um, but this thing is uh, it's out of here right. it's out of here it can't do the job I need it to all right, so let's uh, head on over here and unload this guy. He's waiting there quite patiently. So uh, now he's got, what's he got in his, I can't remember what he's holding. Uh, 10,000 litres of soybeans. So really we don't need to go and offload this trailer. Uh, we can just wait here till he finishes. Uh, but I think just for the sake of getting something to be done, we're going to head on over there and do that. Uh, we'll also go over and check on the sheep. We'll probably grab that whatever bales of wool are there and we'll go put them into the wool storage area. And then from there, we will come back over here and prepare to empty this guy off. Well, as we preempt that by pressing our foot down on the accelerator for the brake. Right, so he's almost emptied. Well, 
right, there we have it. All right, so on um, other news as well, uh, if you haven't already been aware, I don't think, I've certainly announced it in Discord, but I have, didn't say it in the last Lakeland video. Uh, the next um, set of videos you see for our other map, Ningen Farms uh, by Aussie Farmer, uh, that will now be with Seasons. Uh, we've converted over and applied Seasons to the map. Um, so up to date we haven't used Seasons on that map, but as of the next episode you'll see from today, I think it is, um, or when's the next video coming out, I think it's this coming Wednesday uh, for you guys, that will now be a Seasons based series. Uh, it is using a Western Australian Geo. Uh, that Geo mod was built by our own Jimmy J, old JJ. Uh, it's not for public consumption, it won't be distributed, all that sort of stuff. Uh, I have given, with permission from JJ, given a copy of it to um, Aussie Farmer. And if he wishes to modify it and release it, uh, I believe that is okay. I think, I'm pretty sure, J I hope Jimmy J said that was okay. Um, and then from there you can have the Western Australian Geo. But... Uh, Please don't ask for the Western Australian Geo up until that point in time and don't bother Jimmy for it either. Okay. Alright, so we've got two bales here that we can pick up and go store away. So we're going to do that right now. Okay, yep, first bale. So we're using the double fork so we can pick up two pallets at a time. It seems to work okay most of the time. Uh, it's just my, probably my telehandling skills that don't work the rest of the time. All right, hopefully I didn't push that other one out too far. And it'll still fill up. All right, there we go. So we have two bales on here. Just gonna drive around here, dump them into the wool storage area, and then. We can look at selling off these at some time in the near future as well. Right, what are we got in there now? We've got uh, 20, 24, something like that. I think it's 24 by the look of it. Let's get out and have a look. How many bars have we got? Thought we'd just climb over the telehandler. Uh, 29. So we've got 29,000 litres of wool in there. Uh, what is the price of wool at the moment? Let's have a quick look see. Alright, wool. 1,021. 1,422 at the US Spinnery. Might almost be worth selling. Uh, I think we'll leave it for now though. And uh, we'll come back to that a little bit later. Alright. Back with this guy and we'll head back over to the combine. And see how far off he is from finishing. Got a little bit to go. He's got probably two runs to go. That's okay. All right. So let's go off and we'll have a look at how the other guys are progressing. Uh, here's our Voltra doing our seeding in our new big field 11. Now I haven't extended this field as yet. I will do so. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of extra grass at the end of this field here and down the side and also at the end up there so I can actually get a few extra uh, plots of land effectively in to be used uh, and I think we might do that <clears throat> it does take away a bit of space that the unit everyone's got to do some some turning to do their corners for, for turning around and all that sort of stuff but uh, yeah we'll, we'll just have a look at it and see we may or we may not um, I mean, the other thing is ultimately as well is later on we can actually take that road out and we can join up this field and the field over there to the north of it as well or alternatively we can go the other way um, but uh, I think going to the north would be the easiest the same as these fields over here one two three and four I'm going to end up merging together and extending those out a little bit so um, it'll become one larger field instead of four small fields all right so he's continuing on all right uh, this guy here, he's going okay. He hasn't found too much. Oh, this straw. He's got, hang on. Hang on, we could be in for a disaster. There's a little bit of straw in front of him. He might not be able to get over it. Oh, oh, 
Oh, he's, he's done okay. He's done okay that time. Alright. He's okay there. Alright. Anyway, so we'll see how he goes. So obviously, in this field as well, we actually did lime it as well prior to uh, cultivating um, because it was due for some lime. So we, we did that, and uh, that was an off camera job, I believe. But. Uh, <clears throat> can't bore you with all that stuff all the time so uh, yeah anyway that's all good all right Let's see how the combines doing he's uh, going to be off on his last run now or maybe he might oh that should be should be more than enough to do that really this is the baby John Deere combine um, we haven't got the bigger combines Again, once we've got some more money, uh, we'll look at upgrading. Um, but for the moment, we've just got this thing. We do have... Um, so, I was just saying in my comment to uh, one of our new subscribers, and his name uh, escapes me for the moment. Um, he was asking about... He was just saying that the only reason he subscribed was in one of my channel, uh, one of the Ningham videos I was talking about the fact that uh, I got rid of the John Deere and put it in the scrap heap and uh, that was the reason why uh, great demand at Jeeves Mill that was the reason why he subscribed uh, so of course I, I did message him and said well hey look if you're after John Deere put downs we, we do a fair bit of that here so uh, hopefully he's watching this video as well uh, not for the fact we're using John Deere but the fact that we pull the mickey out of all the time and, uh, and yeah but anyway so what I did say in my reply to him as well is behind the scenes there's actually four or five fire units in the background that you don't get to see and they're, uh, they're on standby ready to come and uh, put out any fires that we have while we're working with John Deere equipment. So because we've got so many John Deere's working on this farm at the moment uh, we need that much in the way of firefighting implements just in case. So uh, anyway that's, uh, that's the case there. Alright so he's finished so we're going to take him down, we're going to offload him into the trailer and then I'm going to get him and continue on again so uh, that should be fairly quick and easy so we'll put the pipe out and come straight in here I'm going to do field 4 next and then we'll head on over to field 5 uh, there's no point going to field 5 pardon me as I yawn there's no point going to field 4 uh, field 5 and then coming back into field uh, into field four. So we'll do four then five obviously. Alright, he's done. Pipe in and reset, rerun. Alright, this time we're just going to go straight in with the hide hand. Away we go, and we're going to pull this canola in. So we've got canola in this field. Uh, I wonder if field, field 5 must be canola as well. I didn't remember planting canola. No, uh, field, 22, field 5. There it is, it's canola. Okay, so we've got two canola fields here. That's okay. So that's going to be soybeans. Uh, this one here is going to be canola as well when we finished, so uh, that's not too bad at all. All right, so what we wow. what well, actually what we could do is we could actually get uh, one of the tractors, one of the spare tractors. But what have we got left? Um, he's not spare really. Uh, we could use this guy and get him to start feeding with the pronto, um, which I think we might do. Let's go do that. Let's uh, get everyone working. Uh, I did want to do that. Okay, let's pick up the grass. Alright. Pick up the grass. We're then going to... Oh, did I fill the water up? I don't think I filled the water up, did I? I'll check the water, the water status. Yeah, put the grass in here. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to lower that. Now, I, the horse pronto, 
doesn't require too much in the way of power, if I recall, as in horsepower. So hopefully we can uh, run the horse with this thing okay. If not, uh, it might be an early trade in this one as well. Okay, so the water's being filled up there now. Okay, let's go off and grab the horse as we've got to find the right gear. I think we've still got the horse. I'm pretty sure I kept the horse. Oh, actually, we've got the Vader stat as well, haven't we? Um, well, there's only the Vader stat we've got. Vader stat, Vader stat. There's no horse there. Maybe it is just the Vader stat. Alright, let's see. What can we sew with him? We may be restricted with what we can sew. So, corn. Sunflowers, soybeans. Hmm. Well, you know what? I'm guessing we might have to do some sunflowers then. Yeah, alright, let's do sunflowers. Okay. Alright, so we need some fertilizer by a little bit. So here maybe we can get some fertilizer. Hopefully we can load this guy up. These guys tend to be a little bit more problematic. I found. Uh, let's see when we get the. If we get the trigger. Go, got the figure. Fertilizer. Right ho. Close him up. Off we go. So we're going to get him started straight away down through here. And again, I'm not going to do a course. I think just a hired hand will suffice for a standard, just sort of up down type uh, run. And by the time we get him going, again, it's that time of day. I mean, we're not getting much done. Like, it doesn't feel as though we're actually doing much. Uh, but we're uh, running out of time very, very quickly. So, um... Let's position ourselves a little bit better. Okay, and off he goes. Oh, I missed a little bit on the side, but that'll be okay. Now he's probably going to struggle coming up the hill. Um, so really, what we probably should have done is gone the other way, gone in the east-west direction. Um, but we'll see how it goes. If if it doesn't go too well, this like coming up back up the hill, particularly. Uh, then we'll probably swap into an east-west direction uh, and go from there. All right. But anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you're enjoying all the episodes here, actually, uh, with Lakeland Vale. And uh, don't forget to go check out the map. The map is available from simplysafemods.com, your safe place to get mods, run by our good mate Jerry, Grizzly Bear Sims. And, of course, you can get it from Stevie's Facebook page as well, along with all of his other maps and mods as well all right but uh, don't forget to come and check us out on discord twitch twitter and facebook uh, certainly come over and join us in discord join in with the fun and merriment over there and don't forget to also like the video if you did like it leave a comment let me know what you think of the dlc the bourgeois dlc uh, let me know if you're playing the map or if you've played the map and what you think of it as well uh, because uh, I'm interested to know what your thoughts are of this map. I mean, I'm a big Stevie fan. I, I love all the stuff that Stevie's done uh, through FS17 and FS19, so um, I'm probably a bit biased. But, uh, yeah, so let me know what you think. And uh, you can also let me know what you think about trading in the John Deere. Um, what should we trade it in for? I mean, the plan was to be 
John Deere and possibly Vulture, but uh, I'm, I'm thinking the John Deere aren't going to last very long. So let me know, what should we go for? So uh, let me know what brand you think we should replace the John Deere with. Or let me know if you think we should keep the John Deere along with keeping the fire department employed. Anyway, so until next time, don't forget to also subscribe if you're not already a subscriber to the channel. And if you do, make sure you press that alarm notification icon as well so you're made aware of when new videos are available on the channel. And make sure, no matter whether it's morning, afternoon, evening or night, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, particularly this very important period of time. And take care of your neighbours, friends, all that sort of stuff as well because we all need to stick together. And until next time, keep that fire extinguisher handy if you're driving a John Deere. And we will see you again very, very soon back here at Lake Conveil and Ducks All the Gaming. See you later. Bye.